goes on. And getting a beating. Hi, I'm Sakina. New school dance hall, the choice of the younger generation, but getting a bumpy ride from critics for lacking originality. So, how to bridge the gap between then and now? We asked around. New school ruling the roost at home, but what about abroad? Is dance hall in 2020 losing its heart and soul, replaced by rap ripoffs and meaningless mumbling? Busy signal provoking comment after tossing much of today's music into the trash can. But as someone responded, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. So, is there a middle ground? Is fusing then and now the way forward? We as people who have been around for over a decade in the music, active players, we see it as garbage, but the young folks, to them, that's the illest thing right now, you know? Down Sound producer Scatter Burrell is no fan of so-called trap hall, but talks of closing the widening divide between old and new schools. I'm Dave Kelly used to sit in studios and create sounds and merge them together and work with different frequencies and try to get creative with music. People are just taking um, loops now and just putting them together and saying that's a beat and all of them sound the same. But who am I to say? I am, I, I'm, an older, I'm an old figure in the business, I accomplished so much, so I can't turn around now and knock the youths them. I have to say, let, let's find a way to bridge the gap. The artists, them now, them have really got through what they used to go through before Bleach outside our studio, the DJ at 20 stage show. Like now, them staying at them house, they make a rhythm or them buy a rhythm online and sing on it, upload it on YouTube and them hit. So them first stage show, them approach it with a hit song already. So them have to practice while on the big stage. Former Cartel and Alkaline producer Not Nice also working with some of the newer acts. So me now go try to force a dance already on the new youth because them don't want to sing on that. So me have to know what is it where they must sing and put that to them. Because if me go try to force this old school dance hall and all of them and they don't want to sing for it, hungry kill me up here. So basically Busy was saying that there's nothing without the root. Can't the root be brought back into the picture when they're riding a rhythm? But they don't know what's the root. You can't change if you're not knowing what level of knowledge them have and where dance hall is coming from. Get any one of them and see them and interview them and ask them certain questions they, they, they can't answer because they, they don't know the root. Most of them where them grow up and know is, is the modern day rap. Damage music. Mr. Potter, I know this by myself. It's me, myself and I. The sound is not selling abroad because what happened is that American market already used to the trap music. So it's like you're selling them something that they're used to. Damaged music out of Mobe producing DJs such as Tommy Lee and Rygin King. He also sees fusing old with new as the way forward. Because nowadays it's fusion. I'm not saying that they should use all the elements in the past, but they can add their new elements and create something different. But I think the older artists need to guide them. Say so, no, this is what we need to do. This is how we should package. This is how we should sell the product and make it into a better product. But business says that a lot of people just operate as if they are like already superstars and nobody can tell them anything. Is that, was that unfair? I think that's very unfair. I think the older artists is the ones that have the ego. The youths tend to listen. When you step up to an older artist, they feel like you know really depend on the level they are. They don't value you that because they think you're nobody. So you have to work your way as a youth growing up. Even busy the same way. I'm sure at one time, he never did I get the attention. And the elder have to help him, but the killer step in and say, all right, busy, you have to do this and step out. And he step out and make an entry. So I think it's fair for him to, you know, link up with them and say, yo, I like on the sound and I like on the talent. Let's merge and see if we can get the Bumaye formula to sell a million records, you know? Right now, who are in the place? Kill it. With the new school. Mr. Universe. So if I just give them what they want with the new type of beats, just give them more of the chop type of beats. So we just have to give them what they want. And now that the youth them want here right now. Remember, I say it's a new market now. You know, it's enough like a youth to jump out now from nowhere. I'm glad for them too. So it's a trend where it uh, My beat not sound good to the elders, but at the same time, the youth them want a bust. You can't fight the youth them thing. 
Skillibank co-producer got a bling identifying with old school, but promoting the new sound, even when the only thing Jamaican about a production might be a vocal or a line. True. But here we go on. You see, with enough of these songs coming out now with the chop, with enough of the young artists, they don't take time and promote the song. That's why majority of the songs don't even reach overseas. You have to really take time out, focus on one song, understand, and just push it straight. So them just put out one today, next one tomorrow, and there's some music go. Are some of these youngsters sort of full of themselves? Are they coming with a big ego and a big attitude long before they've actually earned it? Well, you have some of them, not everyone. For instance, some artists what I work with in the past, like when well, we we'll give them like a one hit song, it's like a them do it, you know what I say? Be like so them and the ego and you know girl I link them now and be your company. So enough for them intend for us to say alright now and me do it you know. And it wasn't them. His DJ Skilly Bang said to drop collabs with rapper Young M.A. at Coffee. What these youths need to look into. Look at what worked and what didn't work. Give me one example of a song that they should listen to. Everyone falls in love sometimes. It is dancehall. The lyrics are simple enough for someone to understand. It, 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 you know, a dancehall is coming from the yard, but in a full of patwa. You say, yo, people can understand it. The topic is, is relatable worldwide. Everyone falls in love sometimes. Not just singing about scamming and money and bricks. You, you, you can't want to sing, say yo, sing about scamming and want to sell it to the person that are being scammed. It doesn't make no sense. It just not going to work. So the, 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 the lyrical content too is very important. If it's trap dance, I'm going to take out some of my trap and put more dance in it. Mr. Jimmy Cliff, Mr. Bob Full of Pichard, Mr. Sean Paul, Mr. Shaggy like Why for the music tape on the chart? But all I want to go so zoop, zoop. We are the song, right? They're creative enough, so they just want to create new parts and new ventures. They want to be to say, all right, I'm the first to this. I mean, create a style with a slang there. Take Shabba style and mumble it. Or take um, somebody else's style and do it in a different way. They want to fuse it and create something different. It's not selling, but I think we can market it better. And also for the older artists, I think if they have the 90s vibe, put some substance to the 20th song and make we package the music. Better. You mean help out the kids? Help out the kids. So if you see some youth rising, you have to help introduce them to the audience. Look at the six. Squash is rising as a dancer, new artist, but yet still he brings six youth with him. That a six get a youth can go feed them family. You have chronic law, you have daddy one. You know, so you have to help them because they're willing to, they have the talent and they have a drive. So you have to just direct them, put them in the right direction. Well, you can bridge the gap by the stubborn heads that have been accomplished and um, been rewarded in the music. They have to give back something. Meaning they have to reach out to the younger producers, they have to reach out to the young artists them, who are going to come up. If some of them ad producers did reach out to a youth like Intense, where I'm one of the major players now as a young influence in the music, Imagine how you'd be able to bring him and show him a few things and kind of bridge that gap and fuse the song with authentic dance art. That time when Beanie Man was scoring Billboard hits, Shaggy Sean Paul, we don't really see that activity in the last 12 years. So there's definitely a lull because right now dance art is sharing a platform with um, what you call that Afrobeats. And look at the continent of Africa, it is so huge. They can support their own music and it thrives to the top. But look at Jamaica, poor little Jamaica has struggled with hip hop, pop music, reggae, dancehall, and Afrobeat. So we are sharing so much things that we're not loyal to none. I'm trying not to criticize, me criticize the producer because they are the ones who are supposed to be creative with the music because it's the beats what dictate a pop song. Now for the youth, them nowadays, them sit down and vice song in their bedroom, them drink and and them just have said two words. Like, it's no different from the mumble rap that is taking over the US by storm, right? But as I said, the US have the audience to service that type of music. In Jamaica, you don't have three million people who can push dancehall to its highest form. The youth, them, them are suffer. All of a sudden, them start eat some food. Them are drive them oxy or them are do them little thing. And them are make, them are make some money. 
them don't have no example for follow because Sean Paul now sit down in the studio with them. Shaggy now sit down in the studio with them. If Sean Paul or Shaggy call one of them youth, they come sit down and they have to come in. But there is nobody to bridge the gap between the young and the old, so the thing has got so far. And we can't fix it. So we're stuck right now. Well, we just need to give everybody them credit. We have to make Sean Paul them know say them are the man see me. Shaggy them are the man see me. When busy do Europe, them are the man see me. So we need them people to teach the youth them. The elders, them as engineers and producers, we have to teach youth them. We can't really criticize them. Even though we don't enjoy with them, I do, it's still our culture, still one Jamaica. So, don't the criticism and find a way to just reach out to the youth them and help them.